Thousands of Wake County middle school students are headed back to the classroom in just a few days as the school district continues its transition to in-person classes. And CBS 17's Janice Price live right now from Wake Forest Middle where the district leaders are expected to review the process of these students coming back into the building. Janice. Yeah, Bill, the school superintendent, school board chair, and the school principal here at Wake Forest Middle School are all expected to give us a look at those uh, safety procedures in place, the process of getting those students back into the school building as we continue to transition into in-person classes here for Wake County Public Schools. Now, elementary school students, they started that process a few weeks ago, and we were there for that, and we saw the process and those safety pr procedures in place. Uh, students were greeted with signs reminding them to wear their face mask. Floors were marked for social distancing. Stairways were one way only and desk and lunch tables were also spaced six feet apart. There are also campus care centers in place in case those students start to feel sick. Now students will really just have to get adjusted to a new way of doing things once they're back into the school building but it is 2020 and students have been getting adjusted to this new way of doing life since about March when a school abruptly closed for a lot of students here in North Carolina. Now, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we're going to take a look at the spike in COVID-19 cases and see if these are connected to uh, students starting in-person classes once again. Live in Wake Forest, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.